Okay, so we have done the calibration, the print calibration. So right now we will actually perform, uh, we're going to cut a sticker, a printed sticker. So this image down here, I already uploaded uh, to my line onto this design space. So I'm going to do, and this size, let's say this size is going to be 4.68 by 3.13 okay so this is the size so i'm going to do a multiple and i'm going to do a full page of the the print and cut stickers right so okay so what am i going to do so i already um did my size and i'm going to go into the make it so i'm just repeating myself i'm connecting to my maker so i'm going to click the make so from this mix screen down here, okay, okay, uh, I'm going to change the paper size to an A4. So if you guys are in the States, you are basically using a eight and a half, eleven, all right? So the letter size. So but um, in our region, we are using the A4 size. So I'm going to do a, a full screen or a full A4, full page of this um, design down here. So very easily, I can be able to add on you just have to click okay, maybe 25 we will see whether does it really fits in and I hit apply okay, so it, basically it's all shot so I actually have to take away four all right so okay so it's 21 okay so basically it's 21 uh, pieces of this print and cut okay using the Cricut maker Right, so what I'm gonna do okay from here is really auto arrange the calibration mark is already here. So the next thing I'm gonna print my sticker, right? So I'm gonna hit continue. Okay, I'm gonna send to printer. Okay, so I'm gonna select my printer. My printer is Epson L3250. Okay. So down here, I'm just going to print one copy and I'm going to hit print. So it's printed. Okay, so this is what is being done. Okay, the crop mark is there. The four crop marks is printed on this printed sticker A4, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to perform the uh, print and cut using our Cricut Maker. First of all, I'm going to align. I'm going to put the sticker paper onto the cutting mat. Okay. Okay, so after it sticks on, so the next thing we will actually fit into the maker to let it calibrate and cut. Here, it's really you can be able to look into this dialog screen down here. All right, so it's really print and cut. So the next thing is we need to set the materials. So it's going to be a sticker, a printable sticker. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to key in printable. Okay, so I'm going to click on. It's going to be white gray lining. Okay, so I select. It's done. Okay, so from here the pressure is going to be default uh, the tools is going to be uh, fine point blade is default and right now we just have to click on to the go and we will let it uh, perform its scan and we're going to cut okay so i already loaded the printed sticker all right so it's actually asking me to click on to the go so we hit on to the go okay so now what you do is you actually scan out all the four corners all right before it's actually cutting Okay, the calibration part took 
a minute more than a minute i would say so we'll wait for it since it release scan okay now it's going to cut the printed stickers out all right so we'll wait for it okay so it's almost done okay so we'll see okay so it's really done we will eject the mat okay so we will actually take a look Okay, so it's really well, but the one thing it's is actually uh, did a cut through. It's a full die cut instead of it's going to be a kiss cutting sticker, right? So there are a total of uh, three, six, nine, twelve. Uh, there are a total of about twenty one pieces down here, all right? And there is uh, a miscut down here, okay? But the other rest, it's fine, okay? So I hope you guys uh, did follow the tutorial on this print and cut stickers all right so the next one we will do is uh, we will actually continue using the same fox but we're going to use a scissor juliet machine to perform uh, the same design onto the same sticker paper and the same prints out and basically it's the same same printer right so i see you uh, later on